Welcome to your old news update. I'm Bud Driscoll. And I'm Ethel Nesman filling in for Izzy Fitz. Yes, who cannot be with us, but he's well on his way to recovery, and don't you be out cutting any wood there, Izzy. All right, topping the headlines from yesteryear. 50 years ago, March 29, 1960, Friday morning, an army of nose counters will take the field. By the time the army is through, probably by the last of April, it presumably will have counted your nose and everyone else's nose too. The occasion is the fen federal census conducted each decade. I don't know. I don't know whether to count one nose or two. It's like, got yeah. all these noses. <laughs> but anyway, 75 years ago we're moving to, March 29th, 1935. A Salinan who has suffered with tuberculosis for the past 10 years has appealed to Red Cross officials Thursday afternoon for a little wagon. The man is too weak now to go to the store himself, officials said, and wants a wagon so his youngsters can bring the groceries home. Officials had no wagon available, but thought some charitable person might volunteer to donate one. Well, we, we can be Good on the look at this wagons. Good luck with that. Brand. March 30th, 1910. A petition was presented to the City Council Monday night signed by the street laborers who have been employed by the city in the street cleaning department asking for more wages. Hmm. The petition refers to the three men who have been working on the streets with carts eight hours a day. The laborers stated in their petition that with the market increase in the cost of living and it was impossible for them to support their families on $1.50 a day. Oh, they should at least get $2. Yeah. And health care. Oh, oh, or maybe not. I wonder if some of the stuff they'd have to pick up yeah. out there, too. Who they knows? Don't deserve it. March 31st, 1910, 100 years ago. Ross Ailes, a young man who bit off the thumb of his brother Bob Ailes in the course of a somewhat heated family argument, gave this statement of his side of the controversy. Perhaps I did bite off my brother's thumb. I don't know. The fact is he had his hand in my face trying to claw my eyes out, and I naturally did whatever I could to prevent it. I might have bit his thumb, but I didn't intend to bite it off. Trouble started because Bob came into the room where my wife was lying sick in bed and started smoking one of his stinking cigarettes. He is a cigarette fiend. I asked him not to smoke in the room, and he commenced to curse. Well, he stuck his hand into my face and commenced to claw me. You can see the scratches now. In the mix-up, I might have bit him, bit his finger off. Oh, no yeah. more thumb wrestling for him. No way. That's his family <laughs> heated, you know, his arguments. You never know. Uh, April 2nd, 1910. A big caravan of gypsy horse traders passed through town yesterday. They had a number of expensive-looking bicycles in the wagons. Bicycles? Why couldn't they give them to that poor guy who was requesting from the Red Cross? They might give him a bicycle and a wagon. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the charitable thing to do. Anyway, read more about the way things used to be in the Look Back section of Monday's Salina Journal. So you have a good day, and you have a better one. Thank you. And we'll see you yesterday.